Welcome back and in this video we continue our branch cache journey and configure a uh, branch cache in hosted cache mode. So to configure in hosted cache mode in the network in which you have the clients for branch cache you will also now need a server which I already installed and if you don't have it and you want to follow along you should install one in the subnet with the clients like i told you also in some previous videos and of course you will need the content server the central branch cache server so uh, now let's get uh, started actually with configurations these two parts we already did on the content server so we don't need to do them anymore now uh, because the previous file share is already cached on the clients we can't test with that anymore so i will make a separate share with new files and we go uh, on with that one so then let's connect to the content server the central branch cache server bcm01 and let's create a new folder let's share the folder and again enable it for branch cache excellent and now again let's copy some files in the new folder okay what files should we copy i think also in sources we can go again and i'm feeling a little more ambitious let's copy a big file and uh, two smaller ones this time okay see dollar now we have this share the files are copied so we have the test environment ready and now we have some extra steps that we should perform uh, in order to make things a little more faster for the cache server it is usually recommended to uh, pre-generate the uh, hashes for all the files and copy them to your branch server so this is what we will do now first we will uh, calculate hashes for all the files in the new folder Okay, now the uh, hashes are calculated. Let's make a new folder where we will export uh, these uh, hashes and export them in a zip file. Okay, so now if we look into ctemp, we have a zip file that we have to copy to a BCS01 is uh, the server in my case or the cache server, the branch server. C dollar and let's put it directly in C. So we have uh, everything done. Now let's disconnect from BCM01 and connect to the branch server to BCS01. And on this one, uh, we have uh, to install branch cache also. It's mandatory. So let's install the role. It's done. And now we have to enable it as a hosted server. And what this, commands do, what this command does is it tells the server it is a hosted server. And it also tells Active Directory, which uh, then uh, can be leveraged by the clients to find it easily. Let's run the command. 
And the last thing we should do on the server is of course import the package that we got from the content server with all the hashes and the information. Run the command to import the data. Okay, the data is now imported. Let's try a get vc status and see how this server looks. Okay, the service is running. This is nice. This is not a client again, so it's okay. A content server is enabled is true because we installed the branch cache role, but you see here that this is also a hosted server. We have all the networking settings that should be enabled. We see that the cache is populated. The data cache is also populated, so everything is done. Uh, from this standpoint, the server should be ready to serve the clients because it has been preceded. Then uh, why not? Let's try and see how this looks like. So guys, uh, one other thing I want to mention. Unfortunately, although uh, the settings were done correctly, it seems that the client also needs to be restarted in order to detect or I guess branch cache needs to be restarted in order to detect the uh, server the hosted cache server uh, correctly so and this is how it should look like when it detected it so uh, now from the first share since we already have the data cached I guess it will continue to use distributed but since it now discovered the caching server here all the clients will prefer this mode, but you have to restart, I think, the branch cache service and I want to test this right now. Let's go to client 2. Get the status of branch cache and you see it still thinks it's in distributed mode. Let's restart the branch cache service. Okay, and let's get the status again. So you need to restart the branch cache service and then test and uh, it should work without any problem. So let's try with the last file, which is one megabyte. Let's copy it here. Okay, and this other file. Let's also copy it here. And on uh, the BCS server, we should now have active uh, data cache size. Yeah. And you see now the two files have been downloaded from our uh, cache server and not from the clients. Because this, uh, the two files that are in total two megabytes have been downloaded from this server. So that was it also for branch cache. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a share. It really helps a lot. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.